Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Seems now we are only, uh, there's only few of us today, no? So, we will continue with our lecture last Monday. So, we ended at the different transportations in the Philippines. So, we'll continue with the disadvantages and advantages of transportation and transportation as an attraction. Okay, so just a recap, we learned about the different transportation in the Philippines, namely the jeepney, buses, ta uh, buses taxis, trains, vans, motorcycles with cabins, motorcycle taxis or habal-habal, horse carriage or kalesa. You have also the wooden scooter, hand tractor, and railroad trolley, and also the carabao carriage. Um, other common modes of transportation in the Philippines are the ferry boats and airplanes. So this morning, we are going to learn about the advantages and disadvantages of the various modes of transportation. So, of course, no, although transportation provides us with... Um, convenience when we travel at the same time we can a be able to reach um remote areas no and even areas that we feel that is very inaccessible because of transportation and we also get to go to places um that are usually far pero need not see because you already have different modes of transportation although it has um several advantages and there are also disadvantages in transportation class so we'll start first with air transport one of its advantages is its direct route high speed quick service social and political significance luxurious travel are the advantages of air transportation so for example no it's a quick service class actually the quickest way to get to one place or another is by plane Mas dali pa siya compared to land travel. Although we already established that um, automobile travel also is quite faster than um, like traveling through train you know, or through other modes of transportation. But when you talk about number of hours spent in traveling to the class, mas dali siya ang by air. No? Kay kung, for example, mo biyahe pa ka, Hindi ka kalabang sa Picas Island, no? you have to ride a ferry boat pa. So, it will take a bit of time. And ang pace is quite slower compared to the aircraft. That's one of its advantages. No? A political significance, it is because when one country allows the airlines of another country to land sa ilaha, no? katong mga freedoms of air ba, no? that builds trust and connection with other countries. Meaning, you are open to this country and not only that you're open with your airlines, that also signifies that you're open with, um, like, the, what they call this? Kanang, mag-export, o import o mga products, no? And sharing of resources. Okay, that could also mean political significance for them. Okay, so those are one of the advantages. Luxurious travel because, of course, now when you're going to travel naman by plane, um, Masking kuan pa na siya class, no? Masking um, business class na siya or economy. Masking ano na siya kadikit-dikit. No? It's still comfortable because it's not like other modes of transportation. Um, it has comfortable seats, no? Someone is still there even if you are paying for the economy nga, nga ticket, no? Someone is still there to um, assist you like the flight stewardess morning so my soldier to assist you like the flight stewardess at the same time um you also provide services for your needs no so that's what what makes it so luxurious 
Okay, next, ang yaha, ang disadvantages. Ang disadvantages niya class is high cost. It's really expensive to travel by air. No, because, of course, no, um, ang fuel sa airplane is very expensive. The training that pilots and the flight stewardess are going through is very exp uh, na siya, no? expensive po na siya class because kailangan mong po sila i-train og maayo for certain situations. At the same time, expensive po paghimo og aircraft. No, expensive ang interior sa aircraft. Tana, no? So, that's what makes it so expensive. And you also have like jet lag. No? Jet lag is intended for like international flights, no? Especially if you need to adjust pa to another <clears throat> another nga uh, koan nga time. No, kay example na ay mga 13 or 5 hour time difference niya lahir sila dito sa ilaha kay inyo hapon na na ito pertaining pagkagabi una pag abot nimo dito so mag adjust pa mong body sa different um like timeline no or different um time so that's also one um disadvantage of air travel but anyway, you can just get over jet lag for a couple of days ramam po no once your body has already acclimated na Okay, next, unsuitable for heavy bulk cargo. That is why, no, they would always limit passengers carrying cargo, no, up to the extent, even if you can pay for your cargo, pagusto rin siya kadira, no, they still have a limit, no, because, of course, the more bug at ang plane, the more it be difficult to navigate sa pilot. Okay, accidents are always fatal. Um, Although, no, like, as what I've mentioned last time, Ang air travel has fewer accidents compared to land travel, but it's always fatal. No, in land transportation, na apay tendency nga um, gamay rights minor. No, pero ang sa sa <clears throat> air transportation accidents class fewer ang survivors. No, very few. So accidents are always fatal. There are a lot of casualties. And sometimes, kanino, dilit na ma-retrieve tanan. Okay. International rule to be observed. So, even though there are the freedoms of the air class, now when you land in another country, you still need to follow the guidelines and their international rule that they set for, not outsiders, so, but for other countries that will land sa ilahang lugar. So, that's one of the disadvantages as well. Labi na if one of those international policies includes like additional pasyud nga bayad, no? Or for example, restrictions, like na yung mga dili pwede, um, like dad on, no? Na yung mga, na yung mga dili pwede buhaton. So those are one of the disadvantages of air transport. Okay, next is road transport. It's very flexible. You can reach any destination, labi na automobile, no? It's reliable. They can even um, apply door-to-door -door service, meaning they would really um, arrive in front of your doorstep, no, whether it may be a delivery truck or you're like your Uber service or taxi, no. It's economical because, again, like what I've said, um, very expensive um, gasoline, no, and if you're always stuck in, uh, stuck in traffic, no, it would be easier, mom, put to what they call this, it would be easier mam po to koan class to commute because it can save you a lot of money. Mam po na ang ang manahuna sa uban. It is true, no, because very expensive ang gasoline at here sa Philippines compared to other states in the US. And then another is on the side po ni koan, like for example, no, kung nalaka sa province, nili sa city center, nalaghan ka ayog mga sakyanan, traffic always. Kung sa province po ka, it's economical to have your own vehicle because there are only few people who own vehicles and no, you would save a lot of time, no, um, rather than just commuting. Okay, next supplements, other modes of transport. So, th that is true, no, um, in transportation, in logistics, we call it like piggy bank, uh, piggy back, the piggy bank, then piggy back. We're in, um, if you're going to transport a cargo by air, and then if you want to reach a certain destination, you can't just delete man siya by air all the time. No, I go to Burma just airport. So, ang musalo na for piggy back is ang 
land transportation, no, like um, mga 10-wheeler trucks, burn if dagan kay cargo or delivery trucks, and sila na na ang mo deliver from door to door. Like, it supplements other modes of transportation. Next, quick transit for short distances are the advantages of road transport. But for disadvantages, you have slow speed, no, depende po na sa kabugaton sa cargo, no, o na usahay mga kabante ka class nga nay uban nga very hinay pod or going uphill palandaan no so no po na siyang one of the reasons why um slow speed ang land transport so if you would like to travel quickly from one place to another and if there are available flights others should prefer through plane i mean if they have extra money carrying capacity limited so that is true no we we do not exceed kay matabo ana you'd lose control of the vehicle and cause an accident. There will be conundrum, no? Limits of tonnage. Kaya dili magdala ni driver tanan. Kaya accidents are all paced ko ano. Kalaban, most jud class sa mga different transportations, kalabanan nga dagag accidents ang sa land transport. Naapod ang sa seat, no? Pero just like sa air travel, it's only seldom. Non-AC coaches are not so comfortable. So, there are vehicles that do not offer air conditioning, which, of course, that's okay if you're in a country nga dili kayong anak ka kainit, no? Pero for countries like the Philippines class, it would, like, be a disadvantage na it would be very uncomfortable because, um, labi na if untong larot ka magbiyahe, no? Pwede pagkainit ta. Banda sa imuha ang init. So, that could also provide um, the passengers being uncomfortable in the trip. So, comfort depends on the conditions of roads. Um, that's true, no? Okay, for example, if you're going to travel off-road, it will be very bumpy. Um, not just the condition of the road, but even the vehicle itself. So, for example, if you're, if you're riding a kalesa, no? So, it will be very bumpy, although it you're going to travel in on a pavement, uh, pavement, no, or sa smooth nga road. So it really depends, no, upon the conditions of the vehicle itself or the road, no. And sometimes, if poor yung conditions, that could provide discomfort. Okay, next are railways. So railways are still part of of land transport, no, but. We classify na siya differently because they do not make use of main roads, no? So, ang advantages niya, uh, long uh, distance travel is cheaper and the carrying capacity is large. No? So, that is why in, in other countries, class, no, nasa mga cargo trains, may lago kayog mga, mga carts, ala, ala, pagkahuman na class, no? They can transport that one from um, a pier or a terminal or airport. So, mas dako, dako siya lang iyahang carrying capacity compared to the other modes of travel. And it's cheaper, no? Ang long distance niya nga travel is cheaper, just like the U-Rail and the uh, in-rail, no? Paraya sa India. Paraya sa sa U-Rail class, no? Ang, ang in-rail, it's still also available to only foreigners. Ra. So, it's also a very dependable service and it's quicker than road transportation because there is no traffic congestion. Um, the rail, uh, the railway is just dedicated for them. So, what is it like sa biyahe labina if bullet train parod siya class na sumas pas pas siya compared to just the regular automobile? Ability to view scene on route is advantage of railways. Labina class nga kung sa sa sudad siya nga nga train so naman siya sa babaw no um. Not unless if it's like the tramway in like France, kana arrangement siya sa like located just beside no pavements, no pero or just uh just on pavements, but on uban nga very suspended, no just like in Germany, or for example class um like the MRT nga medyo elevated siya compared to tramways, then or or like cable cars may ano nung example, then you would definitely see a scene no or sceneries no kay na makalakit ka sa babaw kung sa kuan pug ka if you're going like um intercontinental travel no just like the u rail in europe where you get to travel different countries so of course class no you will be traveling hillside no kalaban na class sa 
sa countryside mo agi no and then in tunnel so that is why nga it provides like ko ano better view unsa ang disadvantage niya so inflexible dili siya pwedeng mag door to door or kana makasuksuok sa mga sulunon nga lugar because kung asa ra dapit nga na ay uh, chain tracks dira ra pud siya kutob no dili pud siya ka gawa sa chain tracks because uh, they were not built off road no okay so unfit to hilly regions labi na if that chain is too big so di siya kapasaka no so kana mga mga hilly regions kadaghan kayo mga like like mountains or person ang sa kuan good sa padayong bakol didaghan kay mga um hills kan kaayo og anang sa kaunon liko liko so it will be very difficult for railways to travel dining car facility is not always available so diba just like the u rail and other luxurious trains class they have dining cars no kana ganing so dining cars sa sumpay sa train nga in you can just move in from one car to another and kung makita mo og katong uh, murder in the orient express no nga we're in mura pud siya og kanang traveling hotel nga ang usa ka car is puro sa siya rooms ay mo biyahe na pud sa sa peak amo um, lakaw na pud sa sa peak as car we're in it's a dining area or the bar no ya yeah, kanang sa peak as is like lounge nila for night entertainment so ingo na pud na no so not all the time it's present because there are other trains ko class nga puros ra lingkuranan no walay dining area na apoy uban nga trains nga dili siya comfortable for passengers kay purely for cargo ra so those are also one of the disadvantages of railways next is water transport it's economical the fare is quite cheaper compared to air transport carrying capacity is very big <clears throat> i mean if cargo trains a uh, cargo trains cargo ship or roro no nga they can even transport vehicles okay so medyo dako dako yung carrying capacity develops in uh, international and coastal trades are the advantages of water transport because there are other modes where you can um also accept like imports no or exchange resources from other countries so if they don't feel that um air transport is is suitable because it's too expensive no, they can just opt for water transport kay makita nimo sa Cebu nga dagko kaayo og mga koan class so sa tawagan na oy kanang murag mga steel nga I forgot the term and so masulod dira even cars no dagko kaayo nga nga mga cargoes masulod jud na siya sa usa ka limot kon sa ang tawagan na ginimo gyud na siya balay sa uban and so murag wala ko sa condition because <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, I forgot the term. So, ito siya ang kanang, sa so, kukalyong nga daghan ka ayaw si Buga. Patong-patong siya na sa may SM Pandawe. Lang. I have to search for the term kay para at least maka limot ko sa sa cargo vessels ang tawag sa kay dagko kay na sila niya um, gapatong na ang kanang mga kuan mga steel nga dagko kaayo at steel hull limot ko sa term class kina medyo may ako ni permit sa logistics nga class or sa kuan Alimot na noon ko. Ah, okay, shipping container. Sorry. Oh, steel box cargo. Judy. Ay, sorry. So, it's steel, bo uh, steel box cargo or um, shipping container. So, kung ipakita sa inyo ha. Actually, bigger yung capacity po sa compare sa train, no? Ug sa air uh, sa airplane because of this
Masulod actually dire class nagpila kasakyanan no. Container the shipping containers. And it's really big no other than in the states they would use this as houses. Medyo init na dyan pero they don't mind there can they have ano mga gani. They have a very cold weather man dito. Pero pinasa niya siya pwede. So ginapatong-patong ra ni siya class ni na ay mo rag kay nga nga crane no ang mo kuha aligi kan sa babaw. So it's really that big. No, it can fit sigur at least mga two medium or small size cars. Okay, this is what they're uh, this is what they actually pay if they're going to transport luxury vehicles, class no, and other big cargoes. Dili man madala sa by plane, so ipadala na nila by ship no shipping vessel. Kay dagko man na sila class maka karga na sila ing ani. It's very long. Yeah, it nila mo mo pabilim na sa kokalyong kamukit ani mo na class nila sa may dool sa SM nga Mandawi no SM City. Yeah, usually makita ko yung ani. Expected na na ang either gikan sa Manila or international na siya nga mga cargo. Kay, call man na siya class, mag-ship gani ka, by schedule man na sila go, dili na sila ingon nga uh, everyday na are shipping, no, parehas, anong sa, like sa JNT. Ila ha kay, they are going to travel in long distances man class, by schedule dyan na sila. So, kung naa kay, kuan, um, kung naa sila yung coordinator sa tawag na nila, oy kay, Kanang, I tried searching on methods ana no kay like for example if you want to ship like a cargo from Thailand or other countries so you contact the seller the seller mo contact siya murag shipping dim siya ko shipping coordinator ang term no pero i'll just call it like that no like shipping coordinator para kanang dito siya mo discuss on when is the next shipping schedule and then ako po mangita po kog mag shipping coordinator din sa Philippines so that sila do sa shipping coordinators gikan sa lain nga nasod ug ang sa Philippines magstoryahanay with regards to transporting the cargo so yung ana no kay tiningob ni ilaha class nya magabot ta siya tagpila ka bulan no usahay mag mahold pa siya diri no maabot siya og og tag 2 months kung layo jud kay no kung gikan sa US after two months pa maabot, unya, dugay pa siya mahold sa, sa Cebu, no? dugay pa siya mahold padulong sa, sa lain nga lugar. Mabili na siya sa Cebu, kaya naman ko, magulat pa kagpila ka si Mana. No, usa pa siya maabot sa inyo, ha? Nasa sa Philippines, pero gastan by pa. Okay, so that's one of the advantages of water Transport. So, ang disadvantages lang, of course, is naapoy accidents, but not as frequent as land transportation. No, um, at the same time, the disadvantages of that is dili po siya koan flexible. No, dili man siya kagtug door to door, and very limited ra. And um, just like the air transport class. They cannot travel if la ay ng padahon. Labi na if tag ko ang waves. Mas kikindot pa na ang panahon class, init pa na siya. Pero kung grabe ganit kay ang balod or for example, sa pikas ng lugar na ay incoming a storm, a storm, da yun, ikaw kay okay pa inyo hadira ng lugar, no? Okay pa siya biyahian per pag-abot ito, bagyo sila. So maglisod po ka o dock, no? If you can, if you can, so remember one of your experiences sa baas mong iroon. Sorry. If you can remember one of your experiences ko nakasulay na mo og biyahe, di ba? Naay times nga maglisod og dock ang ship no because usog kayo ang balod no or kinahanglan pa ka maghulat no kay no, gamay ra kayo ang pier kinahanglan ka maghulat nga mo embark na ang usa ka ship before ka mo dock. No? So that's also one of the disadvantages. Okay, next, transportation as an attraction. So, to attract customers as well as take them around an attraction destination, 
Uh, sorry, attraction destination developers have used many forms of transport to move people around. That is why, katong nakita ninyo nga, different unique transportations around the world class, most of them are not built for uh, public commute because they're specifically built to transport only tourists no? or to attract them. Like, for example, um, katong sa, ko ano, sa zip line, di mo siya ginagamit every day for for public commute no pero na alaju din siya gibuhat na siya dira for the enjoyment of the tourists so they have developed that kind of attraction because you know people would always find other things nga nga can be very interesting no to spend their money on not just by sightseeing ang uban man good no labi nang kanang mga thrill seeking nga mga tourists so di man na sila ginahan nga magsaka ra sila og ano maglantaw og kanang scenery no ilahajud is for the experience so that is why you no know, people would build, build a lot of transportation as an attraction kana pa lang alone ang kuan class no theme parks that has like um roller coaster mga kuan no even if it doesn't take you to a different place pero um the thought pa lang ay they move people you know, that's a form of transportation already and they also uh serve as an attraction okay so these nov uh these novel modes of transport ensure that major exhibits are viewed in a certain sequence and ensure that the crowd moves through a reliable pace so you also have other transportation class where you get to one place to another and also sightseeing at the same time so you have city tours no kanang mga tour buses iba nga we're in you get to sightsee, you know, different locations sa city. At the same time, you would be transported, no? Also, another kay ang um, cruise ships class, no? Mag sightsee ka, pero usually you don't really get to sightsee as much, no? Kay dag ko, mag kay ng oceans, vast oceans naman yung makitaan. Pero they get to make stopovers in different countries. Still, you get to sightsee, no? And even services like U-Rail or N-Rail nga we're in. Um, it's intended purely for foreigners and tourists. The locals cannot actually ride you know, these kind of transportation. No, so mayunta foreigner meaning ana nga even if you are, let's say, you are born in the UK but you are not a resident of the UK because you decided to become a resident. So uh in another country you can still avail you know those kind of services but still no uh the objective of u rail and in rail is the same no? the internet for tourist transport so it could be a form of an attraction class no like what i've mentioned in the past um discussions class no an attraction can either be both an event or an actual like building or an actual scenery or it can even be a transportation because pars anang muagtod jud ka o Costa Rica no kay musa kay jud ka sila zip line kay mas nindot ilang zip line compare sa Philippines or muagtod jud ka sa um Europe no kay ginahan ka makasulay og sakay sa Eurail mga ana no if you can mo foreigners class nga musa kay jud sila og jeep kay ginahan sila makasulay sa experience so oh. although it's a pub for public commute no kay nalingaw sa kay colorful ka ayo ang mga jeepney so that's an example of transportation as an attraction okay so sometimes the purpose is to go there just to ride that kind of of transportation ikat ng mga sleds the coco taxi o kano may ana okay overcrowding should be avoided at all costs to prevent untoward incidents and to maintain the beauty of the place tourists can cover the entire park in a short duration with the help of these modes of transportation. Okay, so also no it can avoid overcrowding no pers anang katong nag nag tour me around Palawan class and there are a hundred plus participants because it was a national congress. So what we did is we have a lot of like tour buses and um vans no na mga tour vans nga na ay mga tour guides pod nga nagkuyog sa amo ah. so that um ang flow no sa mga tourists coming in and out of an attraction is 
smooth flowing ra siya kay for example kami ang nauna og depart so kami una makaabot sa lugar tagaan na may pila ka minutes afterwards padulo na ganito ang uban pod so mobiya na pod mi moving to the next destination so transportation can also provide um it can ease of access at the same time can help move the flow of tourists from one destination to another just to prevent overcrowding okay overcrowding can cause a lot of disadvantages class no kay not only nga daghan kaayo og kanang basura unya no labi na if dili ma check ang mga tourist kay nag flock dira no there be a tendency nga maguba ang attraction or destination itself no um like for example sa kadaghan no kuan pud siya it will not be an enjoyable experience pud sa tourist so transportation is the most crucial component of the tourism infrastructure it is required not only for reaching the destination but also visiting the uh, site and moving about at the destination variety and modes of transportation adds color to the overall tourism experience and even gani class no um transportation can also um influence no the satisfaction of the tourist kay nga naman atoy but times kay supo na ang tourist destination ilang agtuan class but the process of getting there is to hassle to risky no kanang murag dili kaayo siya comfortable sa part ni sorry sabo ka pero dili ka siya comfortable sa party tourist then wait lang sa for a while class ha Okay, wait, so for a while, because I'm going to have a little bit of a hundred. Okay, so let's continue, no? Can I mungo na ko ha ug to big? Okay, so for example, no, um, maot ilang experience pagkabut dito, ten hours ilang biyahe, uncomfortable ka ayo, bumpy ka ayo ang road. So mas kina abut sa sa destination nila bina ka ng kanas ng tourist kay dili ka ng palaguan talo. So they really have a bad experience and they would be really unsatisfied with the. Um, with the travel, no, with with their experience with this kind of destination. Mabito na class nga katno siya kung gimension sa inyo hanga. One, uh, the five A's of tourism is so vital for a tourist destination because this what makes the tourist destination very popular and very attractive. Kay ato ibutang na anak kay mga different elements like you have attractions, you have accommodations, no, you have different activities and amenities in your in your destination in your tourist destination but the one disadvantage lang is it's not accessible walay roads no ngadagang kig roads available or for example wala kay mga piers or terminals no very few ra ang transportation it would still be very inconvenient for your tourist kay ato yung butang ginana sila mo uli niya magtagbo pa sila hulat og og sakyanan nga muagi para maka uli lang sila no kay kulang kay ang transportation or maot ang roads no it's, it's too bumpy dili accessible so mo na siya no very essential element rin na siya of a tourist destination ang transportation it adds color to the tourism experience So, unusual forms of transportation are also an attraction 
Diba? So, kung the more ganing a unique on transportation, the more we can attract more tourists because they don't have that in their country. No? Murag, this is unique. So, ang uban kayo muna sila different kinds of transportation para sa itong suspended na um, train no, sa Germany or katong like Coco taxis which are very, very unique looking. Kung uban, wala pa kasulay o Kalesa, so we have the like the Kalesa, the colorful jeepneys in the Philippines. No, I will not really say habal habal, although it's a very unique experience. Pero if the uh, dili man rin siya pang masa, no, na may uban nga dili comfortable ana, o oh, on sa pila in like ang zipline na ano, on na siya sa uban nga countries, like terrain buses, no, or cable cars. No, okay, it's not all the time that you we can ride like cable cars, no. So, kanang mga ingana nga examples class at can also draw in tourists, no unique transportations. So, cable cars in hilly terrain, the funicular railway, or jet boating. The choice of mode of transport is vast and tourists can choose a mode to suit their budget. Again, no, some modes of transportation are expensive. So, they can opt for scheduled or non-scheduled transport such as hiring of vehicles, boats, coaches, or trains. So there are scheduled vehicles class na for public transport. Our in they have to leave by schedule like delay siya um for hire. So kung kanus ara siya na ali, for example, next niya nga schedule is 6. So 6 pa ka mo muhulat no for the next con until 6 pa ka muhulat for the next na pud nga byahe. So na putay um non-scheduled no pers anang you can just hire them nga moingon abi ka nga okay pick us up 5:30 a.m. and then pag uli na mo you can just pick us up again at koan 5 o mga ana no 5 p.m. so as an example of for hire no you can hire vehicles even boats coaches or trains so that you can travel with a group at a very flexible time so those are the um what do you call this? Those are the examples of transportation as an attraction. Okay, so that ends my discussion for um, this morning for the transportation in the Philippines. So on Monday, I'll be discussing the overall summary for the transportation sector. And then... It's a brief summary lang. Before that, we will, uh, we will proceed with issues and concerns in the transportation, um, not industry, but the transportation sector. Okay, so do you have any questions before we will end our class? None so far, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So, um, again, I would just like to remind everyone, um, on Sunday will be our regional caravan. Let us help support Miss Angel. I know it's brand out, man, anak nga time, no? Pero if you have, kato lang pong na ay data, um, na ay power bank, no nga. If you can't join the Zoom because it's too, magbug at pag kaayo siya sa inyong phone and dali makakawat og data, you can just join via Facebook, no? And you will be posting that one live on live. No? So that's from 8 to 12 noon. And then, sa katong dili maka-attend, of course, a brand out man na tumapugo. So you can just watch the the rewind. No, kay naara man siya dira sa Great Asia MAP Facebook page. So you can just watch it anytime. No, kay ni man sa live, magpabili naman siya po dira ang, ang caravan na video. So, Please pray for the success of the regional caravan on Sunday. And I do hope nga Miss Angel will also be part of the regional officer. So let us just support her. Okay. You can support her by commenting no, sa comments for her name and your school. Pero at least makafeel po sila nga na po presensya sa Gikan sa Santarita. Okay. So that would be all. Um, I have already submitted... I have already submitted um, your grades in the registrar's office. Um, I'll still need to ask if it can be available online. Kay wala siya naabot sa time, no? Kay giuna ang online registration for enrollment. So, um, if 
you can stop by the school, no, you can just ask for your prelim and midterm grades for ing anak ako ano. Uh, ingala nga subject. Okay? Not all subjects are complete, ha? Pero at least kung sir, available dito. Um, maningil pa mi sa open, no? Kaya lang siya ibang mga teachers late should mo submit silang grades. So, we are now open for enrollment for second semester. So, if you have friends, um, yun yung nga wala nakaabot sa enrollment pag first sem, they can still enroll for second semester as regular students. Um, Upon enrollment, they only have to pay 500 pesos now. And if they are new students, they have to um, go through you know, the, like what you did, you know, they have to go through pasa entrance exam. Okay? And then open, may anak karun, sa sugod karun, no, ga open na may, samtang midterm pa lang, daan, or finals naman tayo, no, humanaman ang midterm. Kay para at least, um, Obay-obay na po ang makapa-enroll og sayo. So, we are now available for online registration, both for old and new students. So, there is a link in our official Facebook page. You just kindly open that, no, visit our official Facebook page. Delikat ang sa tourism, no, kundi ito sa, koan, sa, o sa, no, sa Kulay de Santarita, so that you will be able to access the link for online registration. There are two registrations there, so just kindly read, no, kay very similar naman ilang infographics na ka-attach. Nay, o sa, intended for new students, ang the other one is for old students. So, kamo old students naman mo, kay, you are with us since first sem. So, if you'd like to continue for second sem, you can just have an early registration. Okay. And that's it. No, wala pa ko himo og mga infographics to advertise sa tourism department. I will just do that next week. No, once we are done with the caravan. So, ang yung share lang for now is katong link for online registration form. Okay, so that would be all. No, for today. So, since you do not have any questions, we will see each other again no tomorrow for our marketing class. Okay, so before we will end, let us pray first. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saint Peter, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone, and see you all tomorrow for marketing.